Hello, welcome to Chief Architect Workshop. Make sure you say hello to us at our mailbox. Help us help you. Send your questions and files to Chief Architect Workshop at gmail.com. Let's get started. Hello, here's the situation. Um, on the Chief Arctic Forum, um, a chief user, Chad, sent in a, a file that he had some issues with. Um, he was trying to um, use a thin and thick wall, get them aligned, and get them to look the same. His idea is to increase the stucco width to create the depth, but when you do that, Chief fills that in, in file and the perspective and the orthographic view, and uh, that is not the result that you would like. So how do you take care of that? Well, there's several ways to do it, but really what you should do is you should always think of how is this wall actually going to be built. You're really not going to uh, cake on all that stucco. And um, because the stucco width is thicker than that, Chief is like, well, what do I do here? So uh, I believe that's why you get those results. Um, as soon as you do something illogical, Chief doesn't know what to do because it's illogical. So. Let's make it logical for Chief. Um, a quick way, very quick way to do it is to simply uh, click on the uh, wall definition tool and uh, go to wall types. The materials didn't get translated 100% from the original file, but that's okay. And here, instead of defining the wall, as uh, 7 1 8th. Let's go back to um, cancel. Let's go back to uh, making this an inch, an inch and an eighth since that is what the other wall is. And what you can do is add the six inches to here. This is a very quick method. So let's just show you the quick method um, for design purposes. And we'll add the six inches there, which would make it 11 and a half. And we're going to say, okay, that's fine. That's fine. To accommodate this wall type change, it's fine, because that's whatever. This is going to happen. So say, okay, say, okay. And it goes, what? What? Um, and let's go see what happens there, just from that little we still, what happened is the wall got pushed in, doesn't align with the second floor, and that is not the result we want either. So what is the story? We need to align everything in order to make the chief. This now makes sense, the thickened wall. But let's, here's a really, chief is a, just a really great program. You can, Let's create a uh, guideline on the main layer to line things up. Guidelines are a godsend. Please use them. Later on, they can become dimension lines, exterior wall, to exterior wall dimension lines. Um, and as long as we're at it, let's see that this got moved also because that's the same wall type. So let's grab a dimension line here. Uh, grab uh, a line from the exterior wall face because that's where we want things to line up. Um, let's see. Yeah. Work with me. Okay, let's pick that line. And there's the exterior guideline for that wall there. 
Let's slide this wall over. What's nice is Chief will just snap to that guideline then. You gotta worry too much about it. You're just gonna snap to that dog. And you're good to go. Lines up beautifully. You got dimension line snaps. Let's take a look at it, you know, at the graphic. All right, you got that. Let's take a look at it in perspective. You got that. Later on we can talk about how to make that. I'll uh, work with the exterior, but that could be another video. And now that that is lined up and that wall got automatically changed on the uh, second floor, that now shows up. So that's one way of taking care of that. Okay, this will work fine for design purposes, but really, as an architect, there's a builder that has to exist in the real world. How are you really going to make that thickened wall? And Chief is very good at uh, using the real world. So let's make this the real world. Take that wall type. Let's define it. And we, we we're not going to use a... We could. Actually, we could. And it would actually be 11 and a quarter. Use a big ass stud. That would be a little cheaper, much cheaper, to make a double wall. So, um, the main layer, go back to being defined as five and a half inches, two by six. And then we'll go to the uh, interior layer. We'll insert above, insert above again, because we're going to take a... Uh, Instead of this drywall here, we're going to call for a first stud. Uh, let's see, framing. Let's find some framing for God's sakes. There it is. Framing for a stud at 16 inches on center. We're going to make a stud, and you know, we're going to make that a five and a half inch stud. And we're still missing a half inch to get to the desired design thickness as indicated. So we're going to need a little half inch airspace here and we'll be back. So let's change this drywall to, let's see, where are we? Oh, miscellaneous, opening no material, just a little airspace, no texture, nada. Drywall will now be tacked onto this guy, and, and instead of this being white, let's make this a solid gray. Solid. Let's make it a dark gray to differentiate that there are two rows of studs there to two by sixes to create the, the, the desired thickness. The main layer is still, the bearing wall is still going to be on the main layer, and this is a falsed out layer. And, well, woo, woo, run, run. This should be none. And this is the one we want to change to solid gray. A little darker gray there in that corner. Hit OK. So that's what that will look like close up. And we have the thickness that we want there in the total. And we hit OK. And that's okay. It's going to snap. Now the main layer will snap to line up with the other main layers. We're going to hit OK because the main layers now line up. And there we go. Now we have that five and a half inch wall as the main layer on the exterior. See it's stayed on the guideline. We have a false out interior five and a half inch layer. And if we zoom up close, we'll see that half inch. And this is how it's going to be built in the real world. And that's how Chief operates in the real world, and that's how you should operate in the real world. Uh, let's see what that looks like in orthographic. There it is. And this is what it looks like in perspective. And yeah, later on we should have a little video to show how to make that so that it flows to the outside, etc. But that resolves the issue of the wall thickness. 
Yeah, as an aside, you know, instead of asking Chief to, uh, why why do we want to do that? Let's 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 just talk about that a little bit more. We want to create the real world because uh, use, using the two studs instead of one designed big thick wall, is if we cut a section through it, let's cut a section through it and we'll back clip it. Uh, just to show there. What happens is it will show that the walls line up. That wall's there. So when we create a detailed wall section, it'll indicate the stucco, it'll indicate the bearing wall, it'll indicate it lining up, uh, and it'll indicate a false out wall. I mean, it all makes sense. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to shoot us an email at chiefarchitectworkshop at gmail.com to get part two, how to create deck details in Chief absolutely free. Gratis. Nada. All we ask for is your email for future updates about what we're up to. And also, send us your comments, gripes. Tell us how we can improve. What topics would you like us to cover? What are you struggling with that you can help? We have been using Chief since it was simply Chief Architect. Yes, version 1 was many years ago. We use Chief to design, visualize, and present to our design and build clients. Use our experience to help you increase your proficiency in Chief.